this is my vantage point as I keep going further and further and further away. Well, it's getting tough. I'm still out on the frozen tundra. My legs are about giving out. We've got a little hill to climb and then we're done. But my trusty guide and doctor have forsaken me. Yeah, that's them. Way up there. They've left me. But I'll probably make it. Hi guys. I finally made it. Woo! I see you found one of our caribou for today. Good job, Edward. You slayed it. Good job, man. And we were worried about 65 degrees and getting sweaty on our hike. But now we have no idea where we are. Just kidding. Well, it's day one and I'm just about to give out. I'm praying the Lord to help me get there. My trusty guide and my doctor have yet abandoned me again. I'm just too slow for him. <laughs> so I'm having to rest. I'll catch up. I can follow their tracks in the snow. Well, it's day one is over. Well, I guess it's not, it's 1230, but we're gonna go to sleep. Say good night. Good night. We've just had a warm meal. First one we've had today. It's pretty good. Um, I ate some oatmeal and the last little bit of Edward's roundhouse instant meal of sweet and sour pork or sweet and spicy pork or something. I don't know. And then we went out and uh, got some snow and boiled it because we were out of water. We didn't have any water left. <laughs> and uh, so we boiled the snow and tried to pick all the grass out and had just a little bit of water enough for both of us to have some warm uh, flavored water before we decided to call it a night. Now, Edward says he's got to pee and it's got to be 25 outside. Little windy, slight snow, but I think that we're just going to kind of pack up and get ready after our four-hour nap this afternoon and try to go back to sleep. Well, that's it for the first day. It's been a, a good one. We are wondering. I didn't know if I was going to make it. Edward and Andrew, they knew it all the way. But we still haven't seen a single caribou. We've seen a lynx. We've seen a martin. And some partridge. anything else? Some partridge. Oh yeah, we saw uh, some some partridge, ptarmigans, um, on the way. Anyway, that's been our day, uh, day one, and that was the first day. So, back some more in the chronicles of Jason, Edward, and Andrew Caribou, twenty twenty one. All right. This is morning number one. Andrew went out and fetched this water. Edward is cooking the water. I think it's morning number two. Is it morning number two? That's good. Man, I just don't know. It's one of the mornings. This is the most water we've had yet, because last night we emptied our water bottles. I think I told you that. This is the next bit. We have this morning had with melted snow coffee, uh, a thing of oatmeal, and we've eaten a couple of protein bars or something. And so now we're going to fill up our water bottles with water from a puddle down the way because Andrew says the filter is frozen and the filter for water is not working right now. So, morning number two begins now. We are now caribou hunting. 
from the front door of the tent. We can see a long way, and Edward just saw one, but he let it get away. And it's think, winds think. blowing 45, temp 30 below. We were freezing to death, and then it's snowing already and been all night long. All right, so got another update from Wednesday. Since breakfast, um, we haven't got out of the tent. The wind's blowing about 25 miles an hour, and it's snowing. Had never stopped snowing. We got snow everywhere. Can't see anything. Although we haven't honey out the front of the tent, and it's been so bad visibility the last little bit that we have decided hunting in the tent is going to be the deal for the day at least for the next few hours so me and Edward got tired of glassing and we've taken a little power nap and I've had some chocolate and some Slim Jims but don't have to go to the bathroom so I'm not going to eat much <laughs> A date to follow later. Creating an avalanche. Snowball. Yep, that's what we're doing. Making an avalanche. Okay, avalanche take number. This is it. Yep, kind of broke up, but you're still a champion, man. You're a champion. All right, this is Chronicle, whatever number. This Thursday morning, and this is the day. This is the day we get it done. We're gonna plan B. So we're standing here overlooking this really great spot. Andrew's finding this caribou. Edwards glass and two but we have high hopes for today and if not we're gonna pack up camp and go to a place where we have to shoot it out with the best of them uh, over and out <clears throat> maybe even a part of the morning on Sunday it's like Kenny Rogers said you got to know when to hold them and you got to know when to fold them and I think I think this is uh, one of those times We're where... We're ready to fold them, huh? Yeah. Here. Let's, let's try the next hand. Yeah. And it's a... Well, it's Thursday about lunchtime. Best weather we've had since we got out here. And we went out this morning, like I told you, we didn't see a single caribou, but we saw three grizzly bears. That was cool. They were about a mile and a half away. No danger. Lots of fun. And since it's such a beautiful day, we decided to leave. Makes good sense, but what we do, we've got a strategy. We're going to get it back. We're going to go to another place, get some tags, go shoot it out. Next update, hopefully back of the car although i'll probably update you a few times about how far behind i am and how much i'm about dead all right bye this would be a quick five where everybody takes off their packs rearranges everything and tightens their belts which is what edward is doing looks around rest your shoulders we're about an hour and a half into our six hour walk back to the truck and we've got uh, a little ways to go up to the top of the hill and then who knows from there all right andrew said it's a mile and a half to the truck yep mile mile, mile. Yeah. so good job andrew and we're getting into the 
nasty walking mess but we're down a lot further and most of it's pretty much downhill from here and then we're gonna be to the truck so we're all excited we're taking a break okay i think this is the first update i've given in a couple days and i think my and we came off the mountain survived went back to fairbanks ate a good meal in coldfoot ate a good meal this morning in fairbanks after sleeping in the truck last night because we didn't find any rooms at midnight now we've come up to hunt the steely road uh, after getting some permits and we're hunting from the road because the weather's nasty but see what we're seeing here it's nice and beautiful that uh, weather's clearing up some so we're looking for good things That's right, we're swimming in a Arctic lake with an iceberg there behind us. No, I'm just kidding. We came and got a hotel for the night, get some rest. We're gonna go back and hit it in the morning. Andrew went down to get the side-by-side. -side. We saw some caribou today for the first time, really exciting. Um, also got to see a really big moose. And so that was, uh, we had a much better day after sleeping in the car last night, long story. But we're gonna get some rest had a shower, cheating a little bit, but this is plan C tomorrow. Things have been really fluid since we got here. We've been to the top of the Brooks Range. We've been to the Steel uh, Steez Road. We're going out tomorrow with the four by four, you know, just, just going different ways every dime. So look forward to an update tomorrow. All right, quick update. It is Saturday morning. Um, we are still in the Steese um, area and the weather is still pretty junky. Uh, we did get the ATV and the uh, the side by side and we got it up here trying to, to get around up here. The trails are really muddy. There's a lot of people, a lot of uh, dead carcasses. There's at least caribou up here from the first of the week <laughs> um it's freezing not just temperature wise but the wind's blowing it's been raining most of the morning and so i'm hunkered down beside some trees and we're watching a little glass valley out here as you can see it's a it's a different kind of pretty than the than the brooks range but we're having a good time and we still have hope so um that's saturday morning hopefully next update contains some caribou who knows okay it's an update again <laughs> we've decided to hole up for the afternoon actually that was earlier this morning because the weather just continues to get frightful it's not really delightful in here but it's better than out there it's raining and we're watching from the tent again so uh we'll probably hopefully if it stops raining get out and go some in a little while but right now it's back to pretty miserable okay quick update this morning it's 11 o'clock on sunday and things are going really good we scored on a nice bull it was a team effort i shot him in the uh, shoulder blades and antler and so that scared him real good knocked him down pass rifled Edward he was about to shoot him one and realized he better shoot mine again so it's a good team effort bulls dead cut up packed up we're eating a little bit and we're gonna break down tent and head to the hills so it's been a great trip thus far except for Edward pouring water on us last night like a whole pot in the tent everywhere everything's wet but we'll dry out and we survived our feet are cold we ran outside this morning chasing after caribou in our socks i did craziness it was great 
It's a good finish to a long week. Over and